Hello, my name is Federico Eli. Everybody can call me Fede or even Eli. Some people find hard to pronounce it Eli, so Fede is okay. I am 22 years old and actually I will be turning 23 in seven days. And I am from Orizaba, Veracruz. I was born there and I lived there until I was 15 years old. Then I moved here to Puebla because I got a soccer scholarship for studying the high school at the Monterrey and since then I have been studying at the Monterrey and living in Puebla. And well, the most outstanding project that I have faced as a university student was actually last semester. That was a very complicated semester too because almost all the members, including me, were doing internships, so this made the things a little bit harder. The project was based on designing and creating a mechanical device in order to extract a chemical compound for using it as a semiconductor. Um, it was a complex project because we have to involve things CAD design, uh, some electronics, some mechanical, obviously, some carpentry, and obviously uh, we have to compare the costs and we have to analyze the best ways to build it and obviously for getting the function that we were expecting of it. It was hard, but uh, I think that we have uh, a lot of commitment in this project and in the end we all did a very good job that we were able to present this project at the science fair of the semester and I think that the most important part of it was that we were able to get this extract for studying this material as a semiconductor. And on the other hand, the most frustrating project that I have faced was at the beginning of the pandemic, some a couple of years ago. It was a non-related engineering subject and it was uh, actually the beginning of the online classes. And the project was about uh, improving or proposing an idea for uh, improved mobile working and online classes. So this added to the fact that we were just starting with, in, in our case online classes and we don't have a lot of interaction between our team members and the situation make it harder because we, we didn't have a lot of context about what was it really necessary in mobile working. And well, uh, this make us uh, get frustrated because almost all the ideas that we proposed were rejected or just discarded. In the end, we proposed something related with uh, virtual reality, which I think that it was a good idea. But we didn't have a lot of hope of, of implementing this kind of technology in real working, at least in the near future. I always knew that I would be an engineer since I was six, maybe seven years old. I remember that I, uh, I was a great destroyer of things at my house and I also enjoy fixing them. Uh, I also remember that uh, I used to have some business with my friends at uh, elementary school where they pay me for making some modifications to their iPods. And then I also remember uh, that I used to have a bike club where me with some friends we did some tuning, some modifications to our bikes and skateboards. So I always knew that I was made for this and I still think so. I truly believe that I am a good person, a good human. And when I am not an engineer, I do a lot of things, most of them related with sports and most of them related with soccer. So I play soccer with many different teams, many different people. And in most of them, I have acquired the role of a leader. And this, with the years of experience that I have faced in this, I have learned how to be a good leader, how to support people and how to encourage them to make things better, how to help them to control their emotions, their anger, how to support and face failures too. And I am pretty confident that I am a good leader. And also I know that this ability would help me in the other and real world.